there are many issues currently plaguing the agriculture industry, most of which having to do with the logistics of having human workers out in the field. In short, it's just not cost-effective. Because of this, researchers are looking into an alternative method. That method is robotics. With the power of artificial intelligence, this apple-picking robot is able to do the work of humans but with much more efficiency. What's the end goal? To mass-produce these robots on an industrial scale and have them truly change the way these farms are run. And that time may be sooner rather than later, as experts believe that robotics will be implemented on farms across the world in just two or three years, five at most. The prediction was made by Keith Veselka, who is the co-owner of NWFM Farm Management Company. Now, how did this robotic apple picker come to be? Well, the team behind the invention actually had their sights set on something completely different when they started this journey. Initially, they had planned to build robots with the purpose of cleaning solar panels. Eventually, they turned to farming, strawberry farming to be specific. And by 2018, they had 16 of these machines actively working in five strawberry fields each field equipped with a staff whose job was to oversee the machines and help out with things like maintenance, troubleshooting, etc. With the success of the strawberry picking machines taking off, the developers decided to turn their attention to apples and even received a grant for $460,000 to fund the project. They tested out their new machines on apples and found that it was incredibly successful. The machines were picking apples at a rate of over a thousand apples per hour. Although the trials were successful, they weren't exactly perfect. What were some of the downsides of the apple harvesting machines? Keep watching to find out. All great investors go through a period of trial and error, and the apple harvester was no different. The software needed some slight tweaking in order to really make this machine shine. For example, they needed to alter the machine's gentleness factor because it was consistently damaging the spurs of the apples. They also discovered that certain types of apples needed a different level of pressure when being picked, finding that gala apples were quite strong, whereas honey crisps could easily bruise. So in order to achieve the perfect apple picking device, the developers added a wrist to the robot that was flexible in nature and had three finger-like appendages hanging off of it in order to carefully grasp each apple. This really helped the machine take off, and they're saying that it's so well made that it actually picks apples 10 times more efficiently than humans. What's the next task the developers have in store for the apple harvester? That's coming up soon, but first, what do you think about the usage of robotics in agriculture? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, please leave us a like and of course, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more awesome content like this. Okay, let's get back to the video. Apple picking is not the end goal with this amazing robot. In the future, they hope to make it so advanced that it can even be used for pruning too. Eventually, the entire process of picking fruits and vegetables will be automated if they keep up the good work. But here's where things get really exciting. There's not just one company making all these robots. That's right, they're developing teams all around the globe, dedicating their time and energy to creating the perfect harvesting tool. They're based in places like Australia, Italy, Israel, and of course, California. A lot of these companies are making use of computer vision system, which allows the robot to move throughout the orchard carefully, reducing the risk of potential collisions. One of the more unique companies, Tavel Air Robotics, takes a different approach to their harvesting robots. Instead of using suction cups, extendable arms, and other things of a similar nature, they've enlisted the help of drones to pick apples. They held a demonstration of these flying apple pickers in Washington, but unfortunately failed to acquire the proper backing to help further take the project off the ground. Despite there being a plethora of robotics companies creating these autonomous harvesters, there is an aura of camaraderie amongst them, a feeling that they're all working towards a common goal, rather than it being a race. In fact, Veselka had this to say on the matter. If anything, it's a race against time, not each other, to ensure food security for a growing population. Hand labor simply won't keep up. There is a clock ticking. The reality is that even though the first company to fully commercialize their product will benefit monetarily, there are simply too many orchards in the world for one group to monopolize. There is enough room for all different kinds of robots in this industry. For the moment, let's focus on one company in particular, and that's Advanced Farm. Advanced Farm's apple harvester is actually already available for use in the state of Washington. They were able to reuse a majority of their technology from the strawberry harvesting robots in order to quickly produce this technological feat. Want to know exactly how this machine works? Just stay right there, because that's coming next. 
This apple harvester has a lot of moving parts that need to work together in harmony in order to complete this tricky job. So let's go through each part one by one and break down its function. First, we have the arms, a crucial component of the machine. They're able to reach 9 to 12 feet in distance and work at an incredibly fast speed in order to keep up with the orchard's production needs. Attached to the arms are the soft grippers. These suction cup-like devices gently grasp onto the apple, being extra careful not to bruise or damage the fruit. It simply twists then pulls the apple from the branch in one swift and safe motion. How does the machine know which apples to pick? It has a built-in camera system that can easily identify the apples ready for picking by noticing both its color and size. Once the apple is picked, it's sent down a conveyor belt that will then transport the apples into the bins attached below. When the bin is all full of freshly picked apples, it will then leave it behind, ready to be collected and move on down the orchard. What makes this robot really special is its auto-drive function. It knows where and when it needs to be, and can safely maneuver itself up and down the orchard, avoiding any potential obstacles like trees, branches, things like that. Also, for those of you who are more environmentally conscious, have no fear. Advanced Farms Apple Harvester runs on electricity and can go for hours and hours without needing to waste any fuel at all. The machine really elevates the apple picking production process, and the orchards that have utilized it have been very vocal about how well it works. One happy customer had this to say, This company has a proven track record of getting harvest automation solutions all the way into the field and in grower hands. So, if any of our viewers out there are in the Apple business, you can actually schedule a demo with Advanced Farms today and see this incredible machine in action with your own two eyes. As great as these robotics are, there is still some controversy surrounding them. Like most automation devices, these Apple harvesters are met with criticism. Critics claiming that they're being built with the sole purpose of putting people out of work. Will these people who rely on these farm jobs to support their families be out of luck? Well, the co-founder and president of Advanced Farms, Kyle Cobb, actually spoke out about this issue and in support of those who may have any concerns. He was quoted saying, We're not replacing jobs, we're actually supplementing that workforce for jobs that can't be filled right now. Essentially, Cobb is arguing that the rise of automation will help create jobs, as people will always be needed to work on the machines, oversee their progress and make sure the entire process runs smoothly. Cobb has said this on the matter, there are hundreds of these people around the world now that didn't exist before, who have more earning potential than they had in previous roles, and who have unique skills that they were able to develop as a result of the technology. I think we're going to see similar things to AG Tech, where people work alongside the equipment and become experts in utilizing the equipment. Do you agree with what Mr. Cobb has to say? It seems like the city of Sacramento did, as Advanced Farms actually won an award for innovation due to their harvesting machines. Many believe that the work that companies like Advanced Farms do may actually end up saving lives. People argue that innovative agricultural practices are crucial in ensuring that food production can continue to meet the growing demand of a rapidly increasing population, while also reducing its impact on the environment. The fact of the matter is, human workers simply cannot work as fast as their mechanical counterparts. If we're to feed every human on the planet, we're going to need to make some major changes. This could potentially be the solution to problems that contribute to things like mass starvation, as well as help reverse the negative effects traditional farming practices have on the environment. It wouldn't surprise us if these machines become the status quo in the agricultural industry in the next couple of years. The world is evolving, and even the oldest professions like farming need to change with it, and the work that advanced farms and other robotics companies are doing is an amazing place to start.